afternoon. I'm at Widemouth or Widmouth Bay. It's very still. I actually expect it to be quite windy here at the coast. Anyway, the tide has completely gone out and it's on the turn. Coming in. I'm still in quite a bit of pain this time. Well, my back is a bit sore, but I did something to my hip as I was putting my backpack on. Anyway, I'm heading over there to those rocks. Cook up a bit of lunch. Some people have built a little rock bridge over the oh, what do you want to call it estuary <laughs> oh. not the stables of things oh. so anyway winter car parking charges are on now I think I've got three to four hours for two pound ten so I normally park up on that cliff, but desperately need the toilet, so <laughs> I thought oh, I'll go into the band display car park because I know they've got toilets there. Oh, I can't believe how still it is. Lovely. Now that would be nice, but uh, <laughs> could be risking rockfall. Just over there might be quite good. It doesn't look unstable. Yeah, here will do. Brought my chair with me today. So let's get that set up first. Well, that took a considerable amount of effort. We've got my homemade little foot box on there, so hopefully it won't sink too far in the sand. Right. Oh, bloody hell. The uh, foot box thing ripped, and when I sat in it, and oh, flipped, not backwards, but side and backwards. So I don't know what's going to happen now if I can even have a seat. It's just I'll have to take all the thing off and let it really sink in, I guess. Right, well, it's just not going to happen here. I can't find anywhere comfortable. None of these rocks are really flat enough for sitting on. And... Uh, as for that chair, I think I'm just going to put it in the bloody bin. I'd rather carry one of those bigger chairs, at least they don't sink as far in the sand. Anyway, I'm going to go up to that cliff top. It looks quite full with cars. There might be a space. And if it looks reasonable, I'll cook my lunch from the back of the car. I did want to cook it on the down here on the beach, but everything's covered in sand now. <laughs> it's just <laughs> I can't relax. I mean, it's nice looking at the ocean. I might be able to get a nice view up there. We'll see. Right, so as you can see, I'm up on the cliff top. It's fairly busy, but anyway. Let's get this lit and get a cup of tea on, shall we?
Sunday. A lot of people about. People seem to be fascinated about someone boiling water to make up tea. <laughs> Bag. Right, we have a boil. Oh, just enough in that kettle. Never now. Right. Bloody sand everywhere. Oh god. The generator, there's a food truck and an ice cream truck here. No peace. <laughs> I just heard this little boy crying. But mummy, it's Sunday, we're allowed to do what we like. <laughs> That's quite funny. Got enough there for two cups. Starting to get hot. Oh, for God's sake. Right. Bloody generator off. Mm, this is not crap. Pull it down a bit. Here's the lunch. Ooh, I it might be Not a good idea, that's my plate. <laughs> right, I flipped it and I put the simmering on. But I think I put it too closed, but I'll leave that for a bit because they're fairly thick and um, then I'll take the simmering off. Right, taking the simmering off. Let's just um, give this a bit of a heat up. I 
pineapple juice. to um, devise some kind of lid for this change uh, of frying pan. And there she is. Let's try it, shall we? I need a bigger table. I'm using this. <laughs> Can't put this on my lap because it's all I used it as a lid and it's all yucky underneath. All right, have a little segment of pineapple with that. Mm. If you're wondering why the gammon came in two pieces. joint of um, gammon and slice it up into four pieces. Works out cheaper than buying it pre-sliced. Well that was very nice. That gammon had been soaking in the um, pineapple juice for at least 24 hours. So it was very good. I am now we're going to have a second cup of tea, <laughs> because I can, and um, thanks for watching, until next time.